I want to talk about um, time with God um, and what happens. And a lot of you may already know in Jesus' name. May all he ears hear right now in the name of Jesus. And may all minds understand right now how, in Jesus' name, how important it is to spend time with your creator God, your father, right? The one that's created you, the one that knows you inside out, the one that knows you better than anyone, the one that knows your heart. The importance of time with God and spending time with God at his feet is to give increase, right? There's going to be increase in knowledge. There's going to be increase in wisdom. There's going to be increase in your anointing. There's going to be increase in the knowledge of your identity, right? There's going to be, this is what takes place. There's also instruction that comes, that gets poured into you um, when it comes to you spending time with God and there's an, you know, instruction comes with which direction to take. Should I go left? Should I go right? Should I be still? Time with God is important because it also increases faith. When there's times where you feel like you're supposed to move when God is telling you to stay still and wait. That's one of the hardest things for a person to do. It was hard for me to learn what being still was. Because in my mind, I was thinking, oh, it's being lazy. I'm not doing anything. Am I not? I'm not being a productive enough. Sometimes we got to be still in the presence of God just to know that he is God. Sometimes we just have to be still and allow him to minister to us and to speak to us and to grow us in areas. This is what is this is why it's important to spend time with the Lord because it helps grow us into the identity that he has already purposed us to walk in. He purposed us to to grow in, right? And also, it helps increase the knowledge and understanding, um, and the knowledge of, of God and who he is, as opposed to like what man would say. It helps, it strengthens also our discernment. So there's increase in discernment and knowledge and understanding from God when we spend time with him because he's our father. He created us. He knows the end from the beginning. Jeremiah 29, 11, he knows the plans that he has for us. This is another level of faith in God to continue to wait, Isaiah 64, 4, on the things and the promises that he has promised you as a child of God. But there has to be growth on the inside. There has to be an increased growth on the inside. And sometimes you got to come away. Sometimes the Lord will set you apart. He will isolate you so this growth can take place. Hmm. And it must take place, but it also, the love of God, the love of God gives you this hunger, right? This hunger so deep inside to where you want to sit before him and to learn more of him. And so he can pour onto you because we don't know everything. His ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So we cannot lean to our own understanding, especially in these dark times. We got to lean on God. We got to know what God is saying about everything that's going on. A lot of us, he's telling just to rest before him that he's carrying a lot of you right now. Some of you don't even understand your circumstances that is going on around you in the name of Jesus. And some people are cursing you and don't understand what your coming away is. They don't understand your stillness before the Lord. They don't understand that you do have a hunger for God. And when God is telling you to do something and to be still and to wait on him, a lot of people are not going to understand that type of faith. Some will be offended. Some will not understand. And they will mock you or they'll feel like, oh, it's not that deep. Me being in the world and dealing with the Jezebel spirit being broke 
being a broken little girl on the inside for so long of my life and not really realizing it. I would speak the words of God, but not really understand his power. I knew that he was with me, but truly didn't understand that he was with me. The power of God is with us all throughout the day. If you choose to have him with you, he's always there, but you have to be aware. You have to tap into, you know, knowing when God said he will never leave you or forsake you, that means he's by your side. He's by your side. In Jesus' name, most people are not going to understand this calling on your life. And a lot of the chosen children are being are, are being set apart to grow, right? To grow in God even more, to increase in knowledge and wisdom and understanding, to increase in faith. Don't worry about your circumstances around you in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, there is an increase going on right now in your spirit, child of God. Allow it to happen. Allow the rain to fall up on you. Allow the anointing to increase in you because a lot of you right now, God is, is showing you who you are so you can get ready to be. He's preparing you to be revealed. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Yahshua. It's all about the Father God. And a lot, you know, that's that's what it's about. And it will offend people when you have a hunger for God where they don't have a hunger for God like that. God is deep. And it's just not going, you know, um, worshiping him and sitting before him. It's not going to be a quick thing when there, the, the, the Holy Spirit is moving through you and he's speaking to you and you're getting revelation. You, you come to enjoy the revelations and, and God hearing God's voice and the things that you thought, ooh, the things that you thought were crazy, that, the, that, um, that you were uncertain of in your life. He begins to make those things clear. He's actually revealing to you the dreams that he has spoken to you years ago. Many of you have dreamed about something and have visions about something that you didn't understand. But now because you're sitting before the Lord, he's able to break those things down and show you things are beginning to make sense, right? But being still, there's a lot that happens in being still. First of all, being still and waiting on God is an act of obedience and an act of worship and an honor to God. It's one of the hardest things for an individual to do. So whenever the enemy is lying to you and there's a storm around you in the name of Jesus, he is trying to move you out of position to disobey God. Cause a lot of you have been feeling like, Oh, I got to do this. And I got, there's a lot that you have to do, but the Lord has been telling you to be still and rest because of your promotion and where you he's taking you. If he has called you and he knows the purpose for your life, then it is Jesus, man. Let me tell you, he is, he is the one, um, molding you. He is the one uh, shaping you. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. It takes faith to be still. It takes faith to be obedient in a world that's used to, to doing whatever they want. And I thank God for conditioning me and uprooting me from whatever I've been through in my childhood, because I'm able to see even clearly that he has made me a lion in the spirit and an intercessor. And he has made me fiery for a reason. And he has taught me who to hate, which is the devil, and to see spirits and people that are crippling them, that are hurting them, that are keeping them in depression, oppression, heaviness. There is a power in God's people and they he get a book uh, for the for the sufferings of this time in the name of Jesus shall not be compared to the glory that is getting ready to be revealed in you, okay? So whatever you are suffering from, um maybe God oh, get a go shoto, hallelujah. Whatever you're suffering from, whatever God is telling you to let go of Listen, obey, wait, because you know he is a provider. You know he is a provider. Jehovah Jireh is a provider. He does not lie. Everything that God has told you that he was going to do for your life, 
it's already done, but he had to condition you. He had to grow you for such a time as this in these last days, right? Because right now it's nothing but doctrines of devils being spoken massively and people are falling away. People are falling away from the power of God and the power of his healing power, right? Um, the, the truth of God has been watered down. So God wants, God is also in the time of waiting and the time of being still, let me tell you, he is displaying his power. So this grows a bond in us to want to, to, to cling on to Jesus even more because he's showing us how real he is, how powerful he is. I have so many experiences, but the thing about being in this dark world and, and crazy things going on around you, don't focus on that. It has no power. Lies do not have power unless you give the lie power over you. Everything that the devil is speaking is to intimidate and to bully. It's a lie. It's manipulation. It's force. And so the enemy will use anybody to put forth his will and his plan because he has a short time. That's where we are in this time. But it is not for the people of God to be in fear. So when God is telling us to be still before him, know that there is increase. There is promotion. There is power in stillness. There is power in waiting. I'm telling you when a temptation comes and the enemy is trying to tell you, oh, while, while a lot of you on here waiting for marriage, but see the temptation for the enemy, he, he likes to, to try to, you know, bring back old stuff, right? He likes to lie to you about old stuff that has been done away with, right? Even in your own spouses, that you that you know that God is restoring you and your spouse, but the enemy likes to keep up a lie. He's a father of lies, and he regurgitated he regurgitates lies all the time. It's nonstop, but it is important. This is why we sit before the Lord, so we can have discernment to see those lies and cast them down in Jesus' name immediately. You have to. You have to be in tune with the voice of the Lord and what the, the, the word of God is saying to you in your heart and your spirit and what God has been speaking to you. You cling on and you stand on what God has been speaking to your heart in your secret place. That intimate time that you've been spending with the Lord where he even speaks to you about certain R&B songs of his thoughts and his heart for you and his thoughts and his heart for you in your marriage increase comes by in the waiting increase comes in the stillness ha people don't want to talk about that but it takes a whole lot of faith to trust that in the type of world the way this world has been has has operated in your life and these are the yokes that god has to has broken off of you right a lot of you have been still a lot of you have been waiting before the Lord and not just twiddling your thumbs, but letting God, allowing God to pour into you and, and paying attention and realizing that he is there completely all the time. And this is a conversation that happens in a communication that happens be, be, between you and God all throughout the day. And I'm talking about the stuff that he says to you. You're, you're processing it and, and you're meditating on his words. God's words are power. God's words are power. Everything that God has spoken is powerful. And you must cling on to every word that is spoken out of the mouth of God and believe it. In Jesus' name, you got to believe everything that he has spoken to you or else the enemy can just play games with your mind. He's the one that instructs you how to deal with a situation, how to walk into a situation, when to back up, when to back away. Do you understand? And people won't understand that. But it's not for you to care about what people think, so you got to stop that too because that's people pleasing and God is against that. We have to be in tune only with what God is saying about us and what he is telling us to do. He has given us power and authority of children of God. We are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. God is the one that has been carrying you, child of God. He is the one that has been sustaining you. Here 
Why not praise and worship a loving God? Why not thank him every day? We do not walk in the spirit of complaint because God, the very fact that he has woken us up this morning in the name of Jesus is a miracle. It is grace. It is showing the beauty of his soul because it is because of his love that we are not consumed. It is because of his mercies that we are not consumed because we all fall short of the glory of God. And I know I do. And sometimes I'm asking God, let me tell you, how are you even dealing with me? And I'm, you know what? But I'm constantly repenting and having a repentant heart before the Lord. And it, and it, it is not, you know, a lot of times big stuff. But you know what? We all, we all sin, have sinned and fallen short of his glory. And to know God's love for us to a capacity to where he has not, that he's still waking us up in the morning. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's love. So if you even, if the enemy is, the devil is trying to lie to you and tell you that you're not loved, let me tell you, God waking you up in the morning so you can experience his love. That's love. So we don't, we don't want to come away from the simple, the simple things of what God does for us, what he shows us, what he speaks to us, what he does for us. We don't we don't want to play it down. Cuz if you look at a child of God, you are protected. It may not look like how you expect things to look, but you are covered, you are protected, you are shielded. You're shielded. So I want you to remember while you while while, th while things don't look how you expect things to look around you I want you to remember how good God is and, and, and continue to worship him because there is a shift that is here right now there is a shift and the tables the tables are turning and all throughout God's word and what he's been pointing out to me is Woes. There's a lot of woes. Woes, 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 woes. God is not playing. He's not playing with the enemies and, and those that are persecuting you and mocking you from doing what God has told you to do. Whether they understand or not, God is not pleased with it. God loves his children. He loves his sons and daughters. And... You have to know that when a parent loves their children, you have to know that you are protected and you are shielded. No matter what your circumstances look like, I'm repeating that again at the time. But God got to, you know, be still. Increase comes. And when increase comes in the name of Jesus, guess what disappears? You decrease in the things of the flesh. Hallelujah. You, you decrease in a corrupt mindset. You decrease in wicked imaginations and, 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 and increase in, in casting those wicked imaginations down because you know your authority. It's a power in knowing your authority and your identity in the Lord. There's power in knowing your identity in the Lord. There's a lot of power with that because it, it shuts the enemy up from speaking lies to you because you fill your head with God's truth. And when you fill your head and your spirit with God's truth, every lie that comes to you, you can, you can hear it. You can hear it and you quickly learn to shut it down. You increase, you increase in, in knowledge and understanding. And then it and it and it aids you to oh God I'm gonna shit there encourage other people because you see the de demonic activity and the Lord has increased you in discernment to see the de demonic activity that is happening around you. And when God says fear not, that means He got your back. Do not allow your mind to go back to the places to where people didn't have your back because they're not God. Mm. Hold on in the name of Jesus. Stand firm in the name of Jesus.
because there's there's a lot of fiery darts being shot at God's people. But the Lord wants to remind you of Psalms 91, right? The army, the oh, there's so much, Father. It's so much. It's so much. It's so much. Some of you, you know, the Lord has been, you know, he's been removing you from jobs. He's been removing you from certain relationships. I mean, um, and, and relationships where the intent and the motive, let me tell you, is not pure. It's not pure. So you got to trust God in that. And this is why we, we have to know the word of God, because when these situations happen and, and things get removed, we have to remember that he is our provider. So he and he'll never leave us or forsake us. Continue to continue to wait and be still before the Lord and get your increase. OK. Continue, because some of you, you you've been going all the way to the left and to the right, and the Lord's been telling you to be still before him. And you've been you've been hit with some confusion and the Lord is saying, no, he's not in the confusion. Just obey and be still before him and he will he will fill your spirit and increase your spirit with what you need for that day. Stop looking for tomorrow. Pay attention to the day. Right. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of abundance that you can experience in a day. Spending time with God and doing the tasks that he has asked you to do for other people. Okay? For other people. When you remember it's not about you. When you remember it's not about you and there is a bigger purpose. Then... You, you you free yourself from that those spirit of uh what is it father so much focus on yourself D disappointment mm. who in the name of Jesus look i pray that this encourages you that um there is promotion taking place in, in God's people because you have, you know, COVID has been a blessing to those that can see it in the spiritual, right? Um, those that can see, because we fight not against flesh and blood, the Lord already told us there's spiritual wickedness all around us, things that we see. Some of you can see demons, some of you can't, right? But there is all around us, right? So in Jesus' name. Just stay, stay focused, stay, stay focused. Um, there's so much, there's so much increase coming to God's people. He is already planned. His plan was already set you up in the, in the kingdom, right? So he had to prepare your mind, prepare your heart. Um, amongst all the persecution, this is what he's, he's reminding me, all the persecution and the mockery and whatever people may think about you, you got to let it ride. It's about what God thinks about you. Because when you're doing something that God is telling you, a lot of people think it's supposed to be a certain way. Um, so that's them leaning to their own understanding about your life and your growth in God. Um, but God has to condition you and prepare you for the promise, right? The promises that he has spoken to you, where he was going to set you, who he was going to bring into your life, what he was going to give you, right? Um, because he said, it, I guess I'm going to move question on that. In Matthew, the things that he's going to bless you with, they're going to come with persecutions. He said, he was talking about, I don't have a Bible with me right now, but those that leave mother, father, brother, sister, houses, lands, and well, uh, for, for the kingdom, please go to it. And I'm gonna have to post it below, but he said, you will inherit the, that plus more in the houses and lands and what he wants to give you, but it comes with persecution and meaning it's coming with people talking about you, making you feel like you don't deserve it. It's going to come with jealousy. Do you understand? Jesus' position on this earth came with so much envy, so much jealousy.
People were jealous of his wisdom. They were, they were jealous of his position. People are going to be jealous of your position. But also on the flip side, your position is going to win many souls to Christ. So he wants you to only pay attention to what he's speaking to your mind. Pay attention to only what he is speaking to your mind because the enemy, his plan is to sow seeds and say that, say what you're not doing or um, and make you feel like you're not measuring up. And this is why it's important to be before the Lord so he can fill you up as a father, as a great father that he is, right? So you can only know his voice and what he says about you. Because the, the, let me tell you, the, 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 the um, unclean, the spirits that we don't see, they, they're projecting rage right now and jealousy right now because of where God has planned to position you in this world. Mm. So increase, the increase in the being still, um, the increase that happened when you were being still in God, let me tell you. It is not, it was not in vain. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Excuse me for the noise, but it was not in vain. It took time for God to show you how good he was and to show you that the things in this world and a lot of the, the things in this world have taught people to not depend on God or not to see him. And that is a plan of Satan, not to hear God, but to hear man. And God had to place you and set you apart to separate and break those yokes of those things out of you so you can match the image of Christ. Because the worldliness does not match the image of Christ. And he had to uproot those things out of you so you can be um, aligned with the ident identity that he has called you to be aligned with. The Lord also in this blessing of this COVID time was to just get you used to his voice. And in that time, your faith has increased and you only know what has increased in you over time. But the time has not been wasted people of God, the time has been redeemed. Oh, Holy Spirit <laughs> has been redeemed. You that have been wanting to birth babies, let me tell you, the Lord been telling you to work out for a reason and to prepare yourself. Because you, let me tell you, it, ministry is a powerful thing and it starts in the home, okay? So just listen to God, follow those instructions, those last instructions that he has told you to follow and stick to, stick to them until he tells you something else. It is a beautiful thing. I feel the Holy Spirit so heavy. It's a beautiful thing to listen and obey God. And some of you, the enemy's been lying to you and making you feel like that you haven't. But it's a lot of work, let me tell you, child of God to walk by faith and not by sight. When things are looking the way you think they should look, it takes a lot of faith to not lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways, trust in the Lord to know that he is going to direct your path. And it takes a lot of faith to lean on God completely when you're going through stuff and he's telling you don't pick up the phone and call nobody and tell them about it come to me, he says. That takes faith because he had to break that spirit of instant gratification off of you. That is not of him. It wasn't of him. It doesn't reflect his image or God's character. I pray for every last one of you that are watching this video right now that you will continue to be in the increase until God brings you what he wants to bring you. But he had to position you so you can receive. 
read Deuteronomy 8.11 because when he's, he's, he's uh, don't forget him when he gives you what he's about to give you. Deuteronomy 8.11, I've been seeing that a lot. Do not forget him when he blesses you with what he promised you, what you've been praying for. And yes, it is bigger than what you think. Even the word of God, Isaiah 64, 4, it talks about it's bigger than what you think, okay? Eyes have not seen or ears heard. Whew, God is about to get the glory out of your life. Son of, <laughs> child of God, sons and daughters, God is about to get the glory out of your life. So the time of waiting and the time of being still, <coughs> ooh, wow. Again, it has not been a waste. I'm over here choking on my spit. But anyway, um, <laughs> it has not been a waste. So um, <clears throat> there has already, you guys already been going through a lot of persecution. persecution. But yes, it's going to be on another level. And, and that's okay. You know, God does not want us to care what anybody thinks. So I have to repeat that again, okay? There are some final things that needed to come off of you, children of God. He didn't want you to have lust and perversion or anything that does not reflect him. Sexual immorality, it does not reflect him. It is not his character. It had to come off. Jesus loves you. His grace is sufficient. Um, but he loves, he's so, he's so excited about what is about to happen in your life. And he knows a lot of you are so bold for him. A lot of you are in love with him. A lot of you love hungering and thirsting for him and seeking him. God knows that. Let me tell you, you have not, you are not forgotten. And there's a lot of testimonies that have been coming in and they've been blessing my spirit, but there's even more. There's more. Oh, there's so much more. There's so much more. Um, Stay in, stay encouraged and, and, and just be expectant, um, reflect, continue to reflect on what God has already done for you. Do not despise small beginnings, whatever God has been calling you to do, even in your business. If it seemed like it has slowed down a little bit, just wait on God, man. Cause he, everything is going to happen in his spirit. And I've learned that. And, and that's what he, te he teaches us too. Don't do it by your own might or your own power because that's where pride sets in. We have to learn how to wait and, and by, so, it, so things can move by his spirit. And that's, 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 the, um, that's what we had to learn in, in the waiting as well and in, in the stillness as well. Things happen by his spirit and you have to know what that looks like. <sighs> mm. All right. Um, ooh, 3322. I pray for many of you to have encounters, but you just hold on to Jesus. Some of you, you know, you've been in your feelings about your spouses and, you know, don't don't be in your feelings sitting there talking with the devil because that's how he's he's speaking to um, your mind regarding your spouse. Don't be in your feelings. Put Jesus first. Everything else is going to catch up. That's supposed to catch up. Continue to pray over your spouse. Lay your hands on them in the spirit, in Jesus' name, and pray over them. And you continue to move forward in what God has told you to move forward in. You don't have to prove anything else, anything to anybody. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. Follow God. Do not look to the left or to the right. Move, push forward. Don't worry about naysayers, scoffers, those mocking you. Look, let me tell you, if they don't know God, they're not going to know you and the new you because all old things are passed away. Okay, listen, um, I believe that's all I'm being released in Jesus' name. Um, oof. It's a blessing to be a part of God's army. It's a blessing to, to know him um, and to know him is to love him back. And, but that, that took time, <laughs> that took time because there were times where I, I don't think I would say I'm in love with Jesus. It took time. It took spending time with him and being still and him 
and by the obedience, like he would bring constant assurance as well. When it, when the, those uh, those old lies start to hit your mind, God is just right there. You know, he's a prayer away. A prayer is a conversation. A prayer is con a conversation and it's communication um, with you. I've... <clears throat> I got so many supernatural experiences that have been happening and um, how that angelic activity is like so around me and my sons and um, I didn't know I was going to go this long, but you know, uh, I feel the excitement in the spirit as well. Continue to pray for your enemies. Don't boast about what's going on with the enemies continue to just have a, a heart of humility um and uh yeah and don't pay attention to the bullying of the devil and what's coming over the media what's coming over from the government all that you know it's all satanic and um Shut that out and just keep looking at Jesus and moving forward. I love you all. I pray the power of God to fall up on you in a way you haven't experienced, experience, which is which is it's about to happen. I pray a lot of you new strength because a lot of you need new strength right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you got to sit before him and just worship him and, and let him pour his love out on you in the name of Jesus. So um, there's, you know. That everybody's going to hunger and thirst for Jesus like you are. And this is why you're, you're set apart. It's not that you're better and you know you're not, but it takes, it takes time to grow in God and it takes stillness and it takes waiting. Um, and this is not this, they don't teach this in, in church. They'll speak about, they'll talk about it, but people won't talk about the process behind it because they haven't experienced it and so God is raising up his army in these last days for some power to do some powerful um, some powerful illustrations of his power to display the glory of God in a way that the world hasn't seen or eyes have not seen or ears heard and he's about to do it through your life and so this is an exciting time, but for a lot of people, it's a scary time. But when you know Jesus, um, you're you're not scared. When you know the Word of God, you you don't have any fear. It, you don't fear anything. You don't fear you don't fear man because you see it that that their spirits controlling these people, and they they have given allegiance to doctrines of devils, and we don't bow down or listen to it as children of God. And we don't we don't um, have a life to where when we know our father, there's no reason to be scared. But when we know his love, that spirit, it, it can't even like, you know, um, be a part of us when we increase, when we increase in with with Jesus, when Jesus increases in us, those things just 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 go Um because then we, we know who our anchor is and we know that God has our back and that he is in love with us. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm about, to, I'm about to get off here. Um, God is good. I'm excited for all of you guys. Look, I pray this word has strengthened you, um, that it has it has not all been for nothing um many are called few are chosen that's what i was hearing too so um be constantly consistently repentant in your heart okay um sometimes i'm i'm repenting and i don't even know if i did anything but still like i i just i don't i don't want to um dishonor God in any type of way. Um, I don't want to be far from God in my heart any type of way. Like I really desire uh, to stay close to Jesus in my heart. And um, mm, I believe that's okay. All right. I love you guys. Uh, enjoy your day. Bless somebody. If God leads you to some of you supposed to be resting um, yeah, 
All righty. All right. God bless.